Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Tulips pop-up card. This card includes an envelope which is a type of like a gift and it's kind of like a surprise card because uh, the tulips are hiding for a little bit until you actually open and pull out, pull up the card, the tulips. You can see it has beautiful design. All around. Let's check the design on design space. So this is how all the pieces are gonna look like once um, we have it ready. Okay, so to create this card, we need three pieces of this which have the cats here and three of these who have the cats at the bottom. We need this for our message. We need uh, these two pieces for the base. We need these pieces, eight of these and two of these uh, for the uh, tulips uh, to be able to pull them up. We need these see of six of these. These are gonna be on top of this, like this. And we need a bunch of petals. And I print kind of like three different colors, so they have a different tones. Uh, and these are just to add more details once the tulips are ready. So I'm gonna start painting this. Uh, Lips, but I'm just gonna paint the, the top uh, because part of that area is gonna be um, noticeable, and then um, we want it to look red also. So now that all my pieces have this red color, I'm just gonna uh, glue this part like this. I'm gonna use this just to kind of see where do I need to add glue. I'm gonna glue here. Then I'm gonna do the same with all of them and then I'm gonna let it dry. So I have all my pieces now with these and the next thing that I need to do is cut the lines right here because I need to uh, have these lines still available. So with this one I don't need to do to cut right here because it starts exactly here. The 
this one here I need to go through here all the way down This one, um, I'm gonna do it right here. And this is how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna do the same with these three, this other two, and with this one, because it's at the bottom, I don't need to cut here, but right here. So there is a, a small uh, section that I need to cut. Um, not much, but I still need to do it so the pieces will be will align yeah, like they should be. So, and now I, I can see the cuts right there. So I'm gonna do the same with these two and these two. So now I cut all the pieces, and the next step will be uh, put all of them together um so if you have seen my video with the roses bouquet i blew the flowers or, or roses or anything um at this time but today for this particular design i'm gonna do it at the end because i'm planning to add some dimensions so um i'm gonna just attach these pieces without that for now We are going to start uh, with the one in the middle, like this, and just like this, and we just want to make sure that they are aligned, and just there, so we're going to leave it like this, and then we're going to do the same with the second one, like this. to do this side right here. This part is a little bit tricky but um, it's not too complicated. Okay, so now I just need to add these two pieces. they are still aligned okay so now the last piece goes um, at 
the other side. This one here. So we do it like this. I'm gonna have it like this, maybe. This is gonna make it easier. And then take it down like this. This one is the one right here. Okay. Like Okay, once you have it complete, uh, just make sure that all the, the front pieces are facing this way and then the ones in the back are facing this way. Um, and then just make sure they are all aligned. Then the next step will be just fold these small sections like this. Same with this. this side. Okay, and we are gonna do the same thing on with the parts in the back. You don't see the score lines here, but if you just flip it a little bit, it, it will fall by itself with the score lines that we are going to make. here for now and now we are gonna start with this part so I'm gonna use these two pieces that are gonna go here in the back so this one goes here and this one goes here but before I glue them they need to have these pieces that are gonna be like this so I already glued this one. Uh, I'm using this uh, double-sided tape or dots. I'm gonna place it like this. And then a piece of paper. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. Like this. And then I'm gonna put this one on top. And this piece is gonna move like this. And I'm gonna do the same here.
do this piece of my hair. Same thing here. Please. This um, piece is gonna go like this. You have this half here, and this is your reference. These have to go inside that pipe for that, so I'm just gonna do the front here. So now I need to do the 
So now I'm gluing the front of the tulips um, and just keep in mind that we have to make sure that we are not going to glue other pieces other than the ones we fold. Otherwise when we try to uh, move this section it's not going to work. So I'm just cutting a little bit uh, and now when we move this piece we have this um, design like that. Looks pretty, yeah? And we still have to add the tulips, but so far it looks very nice. So now this piece is going to go like this on our base that we already started previously. Uh, and this piece is going to be glued or attached to these circles because that's what's going to make it to move up and down. So we're going to close it like this. Once is uh, everything glued. So I have to make sure the circles are at the same um, distance or align. Uh, so the way it's not going to create an issue when we are um, sliding this piece. I'm trying to kind of put it exactly in the middle. Um, and then we add the glue. Uh, it may move sometimes when you are trying to do this. <laughs> um, And we, we also have to be careful here, um, trying avoiding uh, putting too much glue because the circles may glue uh, or attach to the other pieces and then they won't move. Um, so we just want to put enough to the glue with the um, with the tulips. So now I'm gonna. Uh add all the petals to the tulips and I just started to add in these uh, small dots which are these little tiny ones um, and then I'm gonna glue this part only like this so we have a little bit of dimension right here And then I'm going to use a different color with this part right here. So uh, kind of um, like this lines like this. So it's gonna have some uh, embossing, and we can make it look more beautiful.
and as I mentioned, you can see the color right here. And I will continue adding all the petals and all those that I think need to have one. Um, when you cut all the petals, basically you have the um, number of all the petals that this template has. Um, so there is a an option to put the petals on every single one, which um, is something that I think is nice also if you want to have uh, all the tulips looking the same way um, and I also think this is the fun part because you start actually seeing how they look like and um, it's kind of nice and red color is always a nice color to have so um, this could be a, a tulips car uh, with any color so if it's for a wedding for example white color will be perfect um, so yeah uh, this is definitely my fun part <laughs> so if you notice I use the dots not on every single uh, tulip pad uh, it's up to you um, if you want to do that on all of them um, I just added those dots on the ones that front and a couple of them that look around where you can see um, so they look alike or even
And last thing I did was add um, glossy accents to each petal for the ones at front so they have a shiny look. Now it's time for the message or the section that is going to have a message. Um, this piece goes like this and this on top. I previously glued these two pieces so that's why you see them already like this. And then so this is how my tulips bouquet looks so far. This step is optional uh, but what I'm doing is just adding a piece in the back. This one goes glue to the, um, the area where the tulips are. Uh, so when the person looks they will see this arrow sign uh, facing up let's create the envelope so I have my pieces here this is the one that goes up front and these two pieces are the ones that uh, go together so we are going to cut a little bit the corners as they are rounded and it will be easier to fold this section if we have those little cuts around. You can make like three or four. Then we fold this area and you can see now that it's pretty easy and the corner looks nice. So now uh, there is a score line here, we're going to fold this section and then glue this piece like this. You can do it either with normal glue or with your heat gun. Um, I'm using mostly uh, <laughs> the glue gun because I want to make this um, a little bit faster so we can move forward to the next step.
So here we have the final result. We open our envelope and looks like this. We pull up the two lips, fold it a little bit, put this back, and here we have a beautiful tulips bouquet. With that space for a message and all you see here is tulips and tulips. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> and I like the look um, with the glossy accents also that gives a different tone to the bouquet. Look at that, shiny, beautiful. So this is it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.